Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We're still in Edgewater as you can see by this lovely, lovely sign. And uh, we're here together with Pravati, our first companion. I do love her already. She's great. And uh, we've been tasked with um, diverting the power from one of the areas in town, the botanical lab over there, to, well, to just this place so we can use the power converter or whatever it's called um, in our ship. A power regulator, I just wanted to check that in the quest log. Um, but we also have an optional objective over there so we can talk to Vicar Max. Is he, he's probably inside of this church little building. So we're gonna do that first since we wanna listen to our companions as a, as a good Sandra. Oh, okay, clean. Yeah, it is weird that it's so clean with the doors being open all the time, but let's go and have a chat with Vicar Max. Hello. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's tossball predictions, the quickest way out of town. I'm guessing he knows I'm an outsider because of my outfit at the moment, so Parvati wanted to talk to you about what Reed asked us to do. But what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Well, Reed Assface has uh, asked us to um, cut off the power to Adelaide's deserters. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Okay, so... What do you think of Adelaide's group, Vicar? Yeah. They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? Uh, n no, but depends on how well the leader can provide beyond your walls. Astute. But I am here, not in the deserter camp. So that's not a variable I can account for. Um, okay. So what do you advise, Vicar Max? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Okay. So just talk everybody into coming together. I'll keep that in mind. Um, thank you for your time. Yeah, that sounds about right. If you right. don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. Um, why? One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However... The Collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Wait, what, what does that have to do with... Wait, what? So why would you want to be after a banned heretical book? But what does that have to do with... Because you were warning me about going into the geothermal plant, but now all of a sudden you're talking about the book? I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. I don't think Vicar Max is all on the up and up either. Um, seems to me the authorities would be interested to hear your after this contraband text. Um, okay. You make a compelling argument. I can lie to his face whenever I want. Glad we see eye to eye. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? It's a journal? Um, yeah, sure. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. The Illustrated Manual. 
Are you... Are you looking for a nudie mag? Yeah. This is... This is a weird game. Hello, Parvati. Um, this is... This is really weird, but now we... Now we can actually go to the geothermal plant, I suppose. Um, or the botanical... It's botanical lab, right? Yeah. So let's go and check out the people over there to see what they have to tell, tell us. We need to warm them anyway, so botanical lab, here we come. Okay, this seems to be the harbor then. Looks like it though, we need, we need to go to the botanical lab, but oh wow. That is not even close. So yeah, I can I now understand why the vicar said it wasn't going to be easy getting there. Um, anything else we can do around here? This seems to be a bin. This is a bin. Great. The bins looks actually, look actually really nice. But okay, so that's the back of Edgewater. I'm just quickly going to check over here. So we discovered the landing pad. If you want to land We're near Edgewater. We get freighters in every Sunday noon. Now they only come but once a month. I love the wind here. Okay. Okay. I can actually talk to you just yeah, like that. Uh -huh. Hi. Um, I noticed you mentioned your dad a lot, but never your mother. That's on account of how I never met her. Okay. I don't rightly know. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. Okay. Could be. Reckon I'll never know. So, you mentioned something earlier that I wanted to ask you about. You mean about the mission being too clean? Yes. I know, but Vicar says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicar sees is one ain't never been run. It, it's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. In a way, she's right, of course, but uh, it's kind of like an ideal. Not what we live in, but what we strive for. It just comes off cold to me, is all. Okay, let's get back to it then. So... Are there any quests over here? Ludwig Miller, that's a named character, so hi. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. I'm, I'm not the backup. Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. Um, what, what are you, what are you babbling about? Yeah, that seems right for somebody who calls himself the babbling Belgian. The war. The coming apocalypse, man versus machine. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. Yeah, so let's play this along. Gotta watch out for those mechanicals, yeah. That's right. That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders and stand ever vigilant. Auto-mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant, clattering about, firing at the birds, orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? This guy is out of his mind. Um. Oh, and he's apparently one of the guys who owes Silas his money so silas sent me you owe me your gravesite fees i told silas i'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance guess this means he's finally heard the calling okay um sure he did mechanical repellent a stroke of inspiration from the law itself here i've been saving up a couple of bits for just such a project okay if your resistance needs another gun i am for hire Sure, why not? I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans mostly, some spaces chaw, a few bit cards. I'll reward you for your aid. Okay. Enlistment fees. Yeah, I suppose. 
wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. More money. There we go. 75 bit cartridges. What do you need done? They have sent a scout prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. This scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. Die, Robot. Well, that quest title lacks any sort of subtlety, so that's a bit weird. So, I don't know how much useful information this guy is going to give me, but uh, I could use a couple pointers. Mechanical's got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is, um, the blue glowy square thing. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll let you be, Ludwig. I got your money, I got the rest of your money, and I got a quest from you, so... I think that's all I'm gonna get. Are you part of the security force, by the way? Um, companion skills add to your skill checks. Increasing your leadership skills increases the bonus they give. Okay. Okay. That's all new. There's a volcano on this island. Uh, island. Why am I calling this an island? It's a freaking planet. Sorry. Sorry about that. So that's a workbench. So I can use that to fix up my weapons. Oh wait, I can fix up the shotgun now. Oh no, I need more weapon parts. I have 15 weapon parts and I need 16 to put this back to full. Uh, but I could technically break down... Yeah, the telescoping. Telescoping stuff. I don't need that. There we go. Got three parts from that. And then I can repair the sawed off. Why does that still say minus one? Is that a bug? Because 18 minus 16 is two, not minus one. Let's... Yes. There we go. So we fixed up the shotgun now. There we go. Look, a shotgun. That's great. Um, I can pick up a few. So that's all stealing. Obviously, because this guy probably doesn't want us to... Oh. This is probably also stealing, right? That guy is leaving, though. I could probably just pick this. Criminal activities. Are all considered illegal. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in those... Activities without consequences. I don't, I don't think he saw me, right? So I can just... Uh, steal all? I think I stole all. And I got a weapon modification. I could check that out. So I clearly got a few extra weapons now. Um, probably... Or are those the weapons that Parvati is actually using? Um, let me check all of this out. I got a weapon modification. I have a magazine modification for the shotgun so that would increase its magazine size uh, so if I install that mods can't be recovered after installation well I need to experiment anyway and these are pretty much the first mods that I come across so I don't have anything for that but I do get an attack mod for the sword attack changes the damage type dealt to plasma damage mr. power that is cool. And it just changes the attack type, but it's... Yeah. There we go. Now that's a, a plasma sword. Cool. I also saw on the loading screen there's a, a button for a quick melee attack. I don't know which that is going to be. Uh, hi, hi, Ludwig. I kind of stole everything from your, your thing there. Um, uh, that's a quick melee attack, but that's not with the sword. So if I want to attack with the sword, I need to equip the sword. And then the pistol. Okay. Okay, we kind of have a little bit of a loadout here. You can now travel to Edgewater Landing Pad from your ship. If, if my ship would work, that is. So, let's go to the Botanical Lab next. Because uh, I, I need to, to make my way over there, which is probably going to take a while because it's pretty far away. Um, I sprint pretty quickly and I don't seem to have a bar that is... With Related to stamina, unless I'm reading this incorrectly. There's like a white bar underneath the purple bar. I think that's my experience bar. And the two is probably my level. Yeah, because I'm at level two, I think. And then the purple bar is the slow motion stuff. And of course, the red bar is my health. Aha, uh -huh, but there's more buildings over there. So I'm guessing that we'll get to see the geothermal plant as well because this seems to be like an older part of the town because there's like broken down yeah that's basically the same type of ship that we were in 
Yeah, with a bit of jumping I can get in. And then we get nothing in the bin, but an extendo sight, a double scope that also extends the weapon's maximum range. Yes. Mag 2 power, magazine changes the weapon's damage type to plasma. Also nice, 20 bits, and a grenade launcher. Ooh. The widest physical blast damage that bits can buy. That is an, an easy way to get a grenade launcher if that is always there. Gonna have to be careful, but killing killing people actually gets me experience as well, so... I don't know if I need to save often or if this game automatically saves stuff. Ooh. Well, thank you for that. Light ammo and heavy ammo. I'm supposing heavy... I keep mallying because I want to sneak. Um, Marauder ringleader. That sounds like... You do? There he is. There he is. Hi! Oh god. Oh wow. I need to heal. Boom. Boom. That's one. And I'm dead. There were a lot of them all of a sudden. So marauders are not to be trifled with. I'm going to quickly grab that grenade launcher again and get back to the same position we were at before. So kind of save before this now. There's definitely multiple people here. But I feel like there were like four of them before that. <laughs> Bypass shunt tool to use to hack computers, okay? And then more money. And then this. Okay, that was a double miss. So that's a kill. But there's def- Oh yeah, there's more marauders where that came from. Oh wow, there's another one over there, and he's using a sniper rifle. And I'm dead again. Okay. This feels like there's way too many of them to probably, to probably handle. I'm just gonna grab all this again. And then I'm gonna have to see, because there's a marauder right behind those boxes. And then there was another sniper rifle dude there as well, so I think if I just try to go around all of them... That should work out a bit, right? Because, ah, I can see on the compass there's red ticks as well. So that's at least five of them. But that lookout came from over here somewhere. So I'm just going to slowly move up. And if anything... Okay! And I leveled up from that. Emerald Vale Community Center discovered. Let's check out our skill points then. So we're going to put... Five more points into stealth, because I want that sneak attack bonus. And then um, three more into tech, since we're really focusing on tech here. Uh, and two more into dialogue. Because um, otherwise, although I could go into... Yeah, maybe ranged a bit as well, because I'm using guns. Not actually sure, uh, so I need to apply that. There we go. Um, I need to check, is the shotgun actually, what does that count as? Yeah, long gun. So I'm best with long guns. Which means that I should probably swap the pistol out for the uh, assault rifle. So the Spacer's Choice Light Assault Rifle. And that's a better, uh, a better loadout, I think. Ow, jeez, what the fuck? I just blew up. And I'm concussed as well. I don't know if I needed to see that lying on the floor there, but is that something like this? Okay. I thought it was going to be Fallout style, so I could just pick those up, but apparently not. Let's huff a buff. There we go. It actually heals up rather quickly. There's a dead Marauder Tug. Um, I should probably... Um, there we go. Oh god, of course. Now that does that. So he's... There we go. There he goes. I need to heal. Um, there's two more over... Oh, for fuck's sake. 
Let's slow down. Give him a headshot. There we go. And then... Boop. There we go. Is Ah, okay. I was... I was Oh my god, some things you can do to make your companions tougher. Give them armor. Oh wait, can I give you the armor I got? That might actually not be a bad idea. Um, oh no, her armor is better than the one I could give her. So that's that, but I could technically give her the plasma cutter I just picked up. Seems to be better than the, the hammer she actually has. So there we go, and then should I give her a grenade launcher? That seems like the better option, right? Look at that. She looks awesome now. So that I'm hoping you're a bit more effective now. Can I heal you as well? If I do... I'm, I'm running out of health kits already. Trip blade. That sounds useless. It seems like she's healing up on her own. Ooh, an assault rifle. Is that better than the assault rifle I'm actually using? It actually is. It uses heavy ammo, same like the other one, but it is a bit stronger, so it's a TNL assault rifle. Wait, wait, wait. Let's just get rid of the Spacer's Choice one. And now we have an assault rifle. Okay, this looks pretty cool. It seems like I have a little bit of health regeneration as well, so after a fight I don't really need to... Um, ...heal up myself, because that happens automatically. So there are mines here, so I need to be careful. But at least we killed a few goons now. There's one over here still. Ooh, piecemeal mining helmet. It boosts the one-handed melee skill. But I think that's better going to be used by Parvati. So let's give her that. There we go. I disabled helmets on the characters so we can always see their faces and dialogue and stuff like that. So probably better than... Uh, Always looking at helmets like that. So, more stuff. Some ammo and the geographic scanner. Increases the range at which interactable objects are highlighted. Okay. I don't have that much ammo for the assault rifle. So, I do need to be careful. Uh, I could actually enter this building. Might want to check that out. Is this... So, this is going to be a dungeon of some sort then, I suppose. I'm running out of health kits really fast, by the way. Um, but, community center. And I feel like shooting enemies in specific locations actually has effects as well. Because I saw the uh, blinded pop-up uh, before when I shot somebody in the face. Which is actually pretty cool as well. Oh. Mock apple juice. A bottle of gently squeezed mock apple sugary drink. Body attributes plus one. Last 30 seconds. Then dehydrated water. Pretty much the same thing. And tarmac and cheese, carbohydrates plus 200% natural health regeneration, last two minutes. Okay, sounds like great items to use after combat. And then there's bread noodles, or what was that, break noodles? That's a lot of food. Yes, saltuna fillets. That sounds great. And a backpack, increases your carrying capacity, that's an armor mold. So 20 extra kilograms I can now carry. If I put that on one of my armor pieces. And as far as I understood it, there's only two pieces of armor you can equip. I think they're scavenging. Oh. I'm missing constantly with the shotgun. So I think that's a good shot. Is he hitting me or because I'm, I'm really confused half of the time. And then I can use the slow-mo to shoot him in the face. We made, it. we made it indeed. That's a grenade launcher. Okay, so that was a fire effect all over the place. Please don't blow me up, Pervati. I feel like the shotgun also doesn't do a lot of damage on uh, headshots. But um, at least we're getting along. Oh, I missed a corpse over here. With more heavy ammo. I'm going to try out the Assault Rifle next, because I'm starting to gather a bit more ammo over here. So the heavy ammo that I really need for the Assault Rifle. So that is good. So let's... Ooh, what's that? Sentry Saber. I have that already. Okay, that was, that was great. That was great. 
I'm, I'm glad her grenade launcher doesn't actually damage me, because that would have been painful otherwise, but more ammo. And the assault rifle is great. I really like the assault rifle now, because that did a lot more damage than the shotgun. Or I can aim better with an assault rifle, that might also be the case. So, model spaceship. This model, made of metal and wood and a generous amount of pungent resin, is perfect for a collector or just a child who dreams of adventures amongst the stars. Imagination not included. Okay. So, sounds like something I want to pick up, though. So that must be the front door, because our uh, quest mark is over there. Which means that there might be... Ooh, a gyro sight. Sight increases weapon accuracy. Okay. And then we have... Bit cartridges and a terminal that we could technically hack. But I want to first take care of those last enemies over here. There we go. That does actually does a lot of damage. Uh, Parvati is getting shot at. There we go. Okay. First aid room key. Ah, oh, that sounds great. Thanks for that. Are you okay, Parvati? Do I need to huff and puff? I don't think I need to huff and puff anymore. Aha. So I could technically also encode a first aid key card. So key card encoded. And I used my hack skill. I mean, that's already nice. So, and that's basically it. I don't know what that did. Oh, I just got another first aid room key, which is weird because you get that from killing a guy anyway. Okay, 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 okay. And this seems to be an exhibition of some sort as well. So these are creature exhibitions. So this is the canet. And then we have these guys. And these are primals. Primals. And then fish. Saltuna, okay, yeah, so that's the uh, the food they're making. And then we get another bypass shunt, so we can hack with that. And this is the toilet. Seems like they... Ooh. I think they put the people they killed over here. I'm gonna grab all the ammo I can get, but this is uh, a bit grim. And now we got a riot control helmet. Oh, I might be able to equip that myself. And retrofitted heavy power armor. So heavy weapons plus 5, stealth skills minus 5. I think I'm going to give that to Parvati because she's been using the heavy weapons. There we go, look at that. She looks great in that. Um, and then I think I'm going to go to myself for the helmet here, the right control helmet. There we go. Because that gives me plus 5 um, handgun skills and 6 armor. I could actually even take her overalls, and that also gives me five tech skills. There we go. I kind of look like Parvati now, but uh, thank you for your clothes. You look awesome in that. Um, but the tech skills are probably better spent on me right now. Um, Spacer's Corona. And then we have another terminal here with messages. And then a few messages about the fact that the director was really obsessed with the Manti Queen. So that was the... Uh, the exhibition that was further along in the, uh, well, the one that was still closed off. The one in the back there. So he spent a lot of money on getting an actual Manti Queen over here. But apparently that didn't work out. There was also a few hints about the, um, the way you could encode the first aid room key. And that's our third one. But we also get a plasma rifle. So, huh. That does burn damage. I'm actually going to take that. Skin Tough Salve. Hardened armor rating plus 10 and lasts 15 seconds. Adrena time. Uh, liquid caffeine with boosters. Movement speed plus 20. Melee weapon attack speed plus 20. Adrena time crash. All attributes minus 1. Walk speed minus 10%. And Adrena time crash stacks up 3 times. Ooh. So we get deficits, well, downsides to drugs as well. And then another pretty necklace and another model ship. Okay. Loot is loot, I suppose. Riot control armor. And another sort of shotgun. I'm just gonna check this out. So four armor with stealth skills. I'm actually gonna drop, or we can actually break down the aha uh -huh, armor parts. I can actually do that because I don't have any use for those things. 
And then the hibernation suit, I'm going to keep that for now because it looks really cool. Where's my weight? Oh, up there in the top left. 30 out of 90. So we still have a lot of space. They're actually really generous with uh, carry capacity. I'm going to take this as well. Okay, okay, okay. And this... Aha! Unlock with the first aid room key. Hello? So this is supposed to house a few nice items then, I suppose, since it's harder to get in here. Ooh, there's another plasma cutter for me here. And then more armor parts and Mr. Ouch. An experimental anthrocillin. That seems like a quest item. It's bigger than everything else, so... I'm assuming that's literally going to be a quest item for later on. So the plasma cutter definitely for our new melee weapon. Because that does 62 damage with possible burn status. Then we have the plasma rifle as well. I'm wondering if I want to change that with the shotgun. Because the shotgun... I don't really feel it for the shotgun. It also uses heavy ammo I think. No it uses light ammo. Maybe that's why it doesn't do that much. And the stun baton is 89, so I think I'm just gonna... It does do shock damage. But I mean, the impact hammer is already better, so... Stun baton breakdown for weapon parts. So then there's one door we haven't checked out yet. That's over here. And I think there was still... Was there still one? Oh no, this is where we started. So I think we did a complete... Oh no, we haven't been upstairs yet, so give me a second. The Guide to Mechanical Engineering Volume 1. What does that do exactly? I keep picking up items that I don't know what it's going to do. The Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering, a dense technical primer on mechanical engineering published by Spacer's Choice. This volume describes the process of building a computing machine using electrodes and spectrum potatoes. Spectrum potatoes. And then the experimental anthrocillin, a cache of experimental anthrocillin manufactured by Auntie Cleo, probably contraband in Edgewater. Okay, so both probably quest items then. And that's basically it for the upper area, there's not really anything here. So let's just go back outside and head towards the botanical lab. Okay, back outside seems like those heavy troopers are still over there. I'm not going to even bother, I'm just going to head up towards the botanical lab. If there are more marauders along the way, then I'm going to have to shoot them, which is plain and simple. What is this? Because I don't think we're going to reach the botanical lab in this episode. I'm just way too interested in everything that's going on around here. So, it seems like most of this area is locked off, although... There's an area over here... With... Lots of stuff, and I can just pick up everything here. That is... What? The question is, what happened here? Because this seems like a, a normal house. But it's not inhabited anymore by anybody. So... Is there any clue as to what happened here? Because there's obviously not a lot of loot in here either. Since it's clearly been abandoned and then looted by... Yeah, these guys probably. Patched low pressure helmet, medium, hmm, medium armor with the lock picking skill. I'm just gonna pick it up. Who knows? I might have uh, some use for that. Don't need the trip blade. These guys died in front of this door, so I'm guessing there's gonna be somebody around. I'm pretty close by that took care of those marauders, but medical supplies. So a bit of ammo and medical supplies, and then we can move up keep following the road or at least what kind of looks like a road with this LED strip inside of it and that's the botanical lab by the way killing dudes doesn't actually give you all that much experience apparently because I'm still only at the beginning of uh, ooh, can it meet of on. level three we don't want any trouble um, me neither so let's just put away my gun and talk to Grace Romero. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Um, I'm looking for Adelaide. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Okay. Um, 
I'm looking for the geothermal plant. I'm not going to mention reed just yet because otherwise I feel like I'm going to get that sniper rifle in the face. So looking for the geothermal plant. A geo what? Look, plants ain't my purview. You're better off asking after Adelaide. If you're going to start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Okay, Grace, um, where can I find her? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Okay, so I just called Schult in the space. <laughs> um, yeah, you and me both, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to repair my ship. Well, look at you, buzzing around the Aether with your very own ship. Rest of us gotta make do with the ground at our feet. No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if Marauders got to her. Um, I'll keep an eye out for her. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Pale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. So we're gathering a good collection of quests here, so um, don't worry about it, I'll find her. Okay, so that's Grace. I'm guessing I can just move past her. Yeah, okay, so no problem there. And there's more Canets over here, Canet Feral. So she's uh, the first defense of this little town. This actually looks pretty nice. I'm just going to talk to Adelaide then. McDevitt, if I need to pronounce that like that. Hello. Ooh, this looks this looks pretty. Can I? No, that's stealing. Definitely stealing. We're in, in somebody's home, so... It sure is, Parvati. Um, yeah, indeed. This looks really, really nice. Um, hello, Adelaide. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? Um, you, you must be Adelaide, I suppose. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobaccorn tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Um, so looks like you've made a home for yourself out here. A home for anyone who's ever turned their backs on Edgewater. A home for those of us with nowhere left to go and nothing to lose. So like the spores of the puffball cast on the wind and alighting on fresh soil. We put down new roots. Um, why did you leave your old home? It is an unpleasant story, dear. But the short of it is that sometimes one wakes up and realizes the place that was once her home for much of her life has changed. The home in which we spent our lives has left us behind, and so we must move on. And that is as much as I will say on the subject. Okay, uh, Reed sent me to make peace with you. Reed Thompson, you here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Um, you're living off power that belongs to the town, come back to the cannery, that's about it. Or Reed asks you to consider coming back to the town, he's willing to make amends. Something about coming back to town or losing power, I wasn't really listening, so definitely not the last one. Let's start with he's willing to make amends. Make amends? Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Um, he asked me to uh, divert your power over to him. He mentioned the geothermal plant. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Well, I need a power regulator. 
um, your camp has a power regulator I needed to repair my ship. Because she might actually give us something similar. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. Well, that's putting words into my mouth. She's calling me a hero before I even done anything. That sounds a bit weird. Yeah, a hero to you, maybe. Um, I just want to fix my ship, but I'm definitely going to be into the troubles here, so... What have you got against the town? I think I kind of know the answer to that, so... A hero to you, maybe. A hero to the people who matter. To us. To the ones who come around. To the ones you save. Reed will never understand. He has been too long inebriated on the wine of corporate culture. All he sees is productivity, output, profits. Uh, sure, but that doesn't... Hmm. That doesn't make you that much better if you just want to kill everybody. Well, not kill everybody, but re remove the power from everybody that's living in the town. That's just trying to live their lives. Um, let's say I help you. What happens to Edgewater? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down. Workers desert in droves. And our own little camp grows and thrives. Okay. I'll consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. I'm not sure if the conscience thing is going to be one side. Oh, wow. Um, Arvati, are you okay? You seem to be glowing blue. Did I do something? Did I, uh, is that power armor making you radioactive? Because this looks a bit, a bit weird. I'm supposing it's the reflection of this thing that makes you look a bit blue. But I mean, your eyes are positively glowing. And that wasn't entirely a compliment. Um, okay. But with that, we have our decision set out before us. Seems pretty cut and dry. Either we need to... Divert the power to Edgewater and, well, doom this little settlement or do the opposite and doom Edgewater. Before we do that, I'm supposing I need to finish up the quests in Edgewater because I'm not really sure if we can actually do those quests after that. But it seems like we even need to return to Edgewater anyway. That seems to be the general direction of it anyway or close to it. But that will have to wait until next episode time because i'm gonna take a little break so thank you guys normally for watching if you enjoyed this episode don't forget to like it right here uh on youtube and uh next time we're gonna make a very big decision as the first thing we're gonna do on this planet so thank you guys normally for watching hope to see you guys in the next episode of the outer worlds goodbye